do a quick video to show you how to change this strip that runs along the lettering on the Range Rover. And it's not very obvious on our project Range Rover. Someone's changed it to black, which is fine, but I'd have maybe done it with black lettering. Um, but the worst thing I've seen is Land Rover actually changed the lettering here from a dark grey colour, Brunel, to a sort of titanium, a bright silver. But they seem to forget to change this strip along underneath it at the same time. So there's a lot of cars going around with the titanium silver lettering but the Brunel strip which looks a little odd. Um, so that could be a reason why you want to change them. We've actually got them on the website in several colours. You can see the gloss black, matte black, the titanium silver which should match your lettering if you've got the later type and then the chrome. We don't actually do the original colour early model Brunel strip but we've got everything else there. Um, when you buy them you get a little alcohol wipe which we're going to use to clean um, and you also get one of these sort of chiseler scraper things to help you get it off. So I'm going to have a go at doing that now. You're going to grab a camera in. So um, I think it's going to be better to go from the under the underside there. Right, start to there you go. Right, I'll have a go at just pulling it now I've got a start. We should be alright. I might just follow the scraper along. Oh. Okay, so there you go, that's the uh, the black strip removed. Now we've got a lot of residual lettering um, left on here, so what I think I'm going to do is go and get the adhesive removal wheel and show you that little trick. Right. So we've got these, we've got these on the website actually, they're adhesive removal wheels we call them. Um, sometimes they're called a caramel wheel and they're a spongy rubber, much like a sort of pencil eraser sort of thing, and they come with this little... Um, adapter that you screw on um, so it will go in a drill. Normally I'd use the cordless drill but Harry's nicked it. So we'll go a bit. So the idea is we'll see how well this works. So this in theory if you go really fast and you ram it in you are going to damage your paintwork but if we try and take it fairly easy we should be able to... I think it says on it what your limit is. Yeah. And the trick is not to stay in one place too long because it can get it can get a bit warm. Let's tighten that track up a bit. You don't want to watch me do too much of that, but I think you can see on that little area there, it, it's quite an effective way of getting rid of the, uh, the adhesive. So I'll get on and do the rest of that. So we've cleaned that up now, that looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't need to be perfect, we are sticking something on top of it, but certainly that's got most of it. Um, we've got these little alcohol wipes. Um, there probably isn't much grease or grime left on that now after we've cleaned it with that adhesive removal wheel. But sometimes you'll take it off, it'll come off quite easily. Um, so this is just a little sachet, it's sort of a moist sachet with alcohol on it. <laughs> if we just wipe that over there, that will take any residual grease. How dirty is it? So, see, look, it's still got a bit even after that. Right, while that's drying, grab the colour we're going to go for putting a silver one back on here for now which should complement that lettering again. So before you go removing anything and we're still waiting for that um, just check you're happy with the fit. There's a bit of spring in the shape from the manufacturing process but it's nothing to get too excited about. Some of them are worse than others. Um, right, they've got double sided tape. Let's see if we can peel off the should have done this off video. That's right. 
Right. There we go. We got it. Right then. Okay, so we were sort of happy with the fit. Let's just roughly. Okay, so there we go, that's that fitted.